Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another fantastic Fanboy Friday and happy Memorial Day weekend to anyone who celebrates from the United States. I am Lawler Hicks, your ship hoster AI, and we are playing Guilty Gear Strive this Friday. Big surprise, right? However, it's great news, as you know, as some of you may have been aware, they are going to release the next character on the 25th. They have done so, and they also released some network some netcode changes which will hopefully resolve some of the issues that the game was experiencing especially with trying to progress in the rank tower so we're going to cut out two stones with or hit two birds with one stone today we're going to be trying out the character uh playing against the character i should say and we're going to be seeing how far we can make our way in rank today maybe practice a little bit some um do a little bit of labbing as well we'll see We go ahead and play versus CPU, and we're going to be versing ourselves against uh, the new character, the um, new character, which is over here, Asuka. There's actually two Asukas. One is the clone version, which is the default one you play one and play as, and the other one is the uh, vanilla flavored one, the one typically referred to as that man. It looks like they are fairly annoying. They might be fairly annoying if you could find someone that can pull off doing all of the spell combinations. I'm not sure how many people are going to try and main Asuka because generally when it comes to competitive games, it's more of a matter of who is the most consistent and easiest to play as as opposed to um, high risk, high reward characters. But we'll see. We shall see. Given from the trailer, apparently you can destroy the... Destroy the uh, projectile, so we're hoping that's the case this time. Just like the releases with the previous new characters, once are... Just like with Bedman, there's an issue where, for some reason, the... Names of the characters are not displaying properly. Oh wow. I can already see at this character that Asuka is going to be fucking annoying as hell. So it's a good thing we decide to... I also just realized that my controls are a switch for some reason. One second. Let's go check button settings. It might be because of the way I programmed... Or reprogrammed, I should say, the click box. There we go. Now then. So I was saying. Pretty sure that this match is a wash though. In fact, I'm almost completely certain this match is a wash. I don't know what that thing does. Just kidding me with a giant book. Been lost since we've seen something like that. Ah, oh, there's only one round. A bright hope here in the future. If this is the future, much less what our heroes are gonna look like, we're gonna have problems. Let's try it again. Did this time let us correct the uh, currently assigned rounds? Set that to two. I don't know what the point is of saying this uh, timeline to infinite. Maniac is the highest setting. Gonna play against Asuka again. Uh, much better. I also need to get better at 
I've added a few combina a combination or two to my current repertoire, but I have not gone had the chance to practice them extensively or much at all, really. God, the projectile spam is really out there. Looks like Asuka doesn't have much in the way of health, though. That's is that a go grab or a command grab? I'm going to assume there's going to be a lot of Asukas in the tower, because that's typically what happens when you have new characters. A1 insists on playing playing them. There we go. You may have noticed that that was a short beach ball, which requires the use of the punch button. The way I have my controller set up makes it inconvenient to use the punch button because I don't use it that often. Despite of how inconvenient I have made it, I will have to go ahead and get used to using it anyway. Because even though I'm I've been able to get a decent play to a decent place, only using. Every, every literally every other button. I it's basically an underly underutilized part of my kit, and since it's underutilized, that makes me all the more predictable than if I used every part of my kit regularly. Jesus. Good thing we're warming up a bit. Except for that, that was fucking dumb on my part. This looks like he could definitely... He can get definitely appear overwhelming. If you give him a moment to breathe. That was a very long super just now. What was that? Fingers hurt a little bit already. He's got the shield thing here, which I'm th pretty sure that's not the same as his actual as, as the actual as follows defense. That's probably just the shield uh, representing that the thing covering Asuka's body or whatever. Apparently, I read a little bit of lore about Asuka. Apparently, if he were to get struck by anyone without that little glowing blue shield thing, he would die immediately or something. I have not finished watching the Guilty Gear series that comes included with the base game. So, aside from knowing that this guy is that man... I don't actually have any foreknowledge of this character. To that man being that man being the uh, big bad evil guy from the entire series. Shit, man! I can't really. Hmm. I wonder. It's kind of obnoxious. If the computer has been doing that, he's going to been doing that move to me repeatedly. I can only imagine that a play, a human player would. Kind of disgusting. So if I do have a counter hit, I can very easily go straight to up dolphin. But what if I... Could I? I'm 
There's got to be a way to... It's probably just a matter of practice. Let's see if the computer blocks this. The computer did not block that. Didn't block that either. So, this movement's fairly easy, all things considered. It's basically, it's literally just tap, 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 tap. But you ideally want to be hitting them with the very absolute tip of your feet. It's like a one-two punch, almost like a Gatling, but not really. And ideally, you want to go... So... Uh, should go... From 6H to up Dolphin. Like, I'm pretty sure that was too slow. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to hit him while he's still flying. And I'm fairly sure it has to be Heavy Dolphin because if it's not Heavy Dolphin, you would not be able to fly that far. But it's difficult to get from... Unless I... There we go. There's the problem right there. Should be... It basically has to be... Confirm... doing it too fast. Yeah, I am doing it too fast. Because but at the same time if I don't I feel like if I'm not I feel like I'm not doing it fast enough. So it doesn't hit them for the uh it doesn't hit them with the dolphin. They recover too fast. Unless no, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to work that way. Not that that isn't already decent damage as it is. It goes up to his name right there. However, it does hit him on wake up. A lot of maze do this move. I don't... I always feel like I am overthinking it or something. That one works just then. 
I wonder if I have to hold it down. See, Alan Hitch is fine. One, two, three. Is it because he is teching the fall? And would they be able to DP that? I should probably just look up more YouTube videos on this combo because... Or maybe what it is is... I'm not doing it from close enough. I will say that if you do manage to catch someone with this, it is very scary because it's basically the maze keeping up the pressure. Um, I wonder if I can actually... No. Too far, it will simply not touch, so it can't be that far. Also, I really need to control my stick better. So it's like <sighs> this is another move that I want to get decent at adding to my loop. fast. Actually, it's not that hard once you get used to... In fact, it's almost instantaneous. What the hell? Just bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Damn it. Bam, bam. Okay, one more time. Bam, bam. Let's see? And actually hit him too. Imagine that. <laughs> it actually hits him right as he... It's like a... I guess that's what they would call... Is this what they refer to as frame trapping? He said literally is so fast that they can't... Unless they're holding block, they can't really react to that. That's fucking disgusting, actually. <laughs> because usually I stop here, right? And I used to, for a long time, want to do this move, or do this move. Now I can't do it, one second. 
been learning to do super uh, while on knockdown. I have to. It, the timing is very tight. You have to do it right before it hit the ground. Sometimes you may hear me just panic spinning, which is a bad habit I don't want you to do anymore if I can help it. Just you could even see my lever just going all over the place like a fucking noob. That's not what I wanted to do either. Uh, for some reason, sometimes when I spin it, all that happens is that a dolphin comes out, which is not the exactly the sea life that I had in mind. I think because it's because when I spin it, it goes all over the place instead of supposed to. Like that. This is why one of the YouTuber fight stick YouTubers I was watching made a point that when you use your fight stick, you don't want to sound like you're going super exaggerated. Your movements should be precise as when possible, as precise as possible, and be like intentional. If you're just kind of spamming, you know, just spamming, just smashing buns, smashing lever. Or whatever. You're broadcasting to your opponent that you're, frankly speaking, not that good. <laughs> Unless you're intentionally doing that to throw off their timing or something. But let's be honest. Who here is actually doing that? Looks like my model is bugging out a bit. There we go. Bad habits really start to take hold too. But do there finally. You know what? I think it's because I'm not allowing the stick to return to neutral first. I'm just constantly, I'm trying to take shortcuts. Shortcuts bad in this case. Hey Terrorwolf, streaming very soon. You want me to pop in for a lobby during which? Sure. By all means, feel free to stop by. I'm just warming up. I was gonna see if I could fight how I do fighting some Asukas and Tower, but and they tried the new netcode, but I'm up for whatever. Let me know when you're ready. You can make a room if you like. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way. Mm -hmm. So the timing is not nearly as tight as I thought. I thought it had to be when he was falling, but if he's just on the ground, it works too. See, so yeah, it works.
There we go. Now we're getting into the rhythm. Shit. Shit. There we go. Really? There. That one missed. That was a fuck. That was too slow. This was perfect, though. I wonder if I can still do the... Nah. Timing's way too tight. Unless they're in the corner. You could probably guess what I'm trying to do, right? I think... This might actually before... No, it does work. Alright, but as I was trying to do it while they're on the... While they're still in the air. But I probably... Because I did that against Leo Whitefang a long time ago in one of my earliest clips. I'm think, wondering if it's because... I'm either not doing it fast enough or Kai is just too... Heavy. Or is it light? You see, this doesn't stay in the air all that long. <sighs> Sometimes you just need to go back to practicing the basics. I need to be able to perform these things perfectly without looking at the lever. For that matter. Hey, Steel. Can you not super cancel that? Super cancel what? What the fuck? Okay, I was able to do it just then. But as you could see, it still didn't hit anyway because he recovered quicker than I could. That time I tried doing it by just spinning the stick really hard. Welcome to the our happy Femboy Friday, by the way, Steel. Welcome to the stream. So that worked just then too. Honestly, that's too risky. I don't think this is a very... So it's like... I was able to do it then. Yeah. It's just not a good move. I don't know what changed. But then again, I did I did this on the Leo, and that was a long time ago. When I was a worse player. Shit. Really? Optimal corner combo. Wow, I'm trash. One second. There we go. You know what? I'm almost wondering if maybe I'm just thinking of it wrong and this is not supposed to. Hmm. 
Hmm. So it always does send them into a prone state. Because if it just made them flinch, it would work. But as it is, all it does is really... But then why wouldn't I just use horizontal instead? Why should I... I'll need to really review the vids because I'm fairly sure what I was looking at was fairly recent. This should work. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm not doing it cleanly enough or... As you can see, I can, I'm getting the hang of converting from 6H to Dolphin. It didn't take that long. It just might be at max range it doesn't work. Well, I tried doing it at this range too, and it's like... Let me try doing it with... Okay. Oh no. Short Dolphin is way too short to fucking... There's no way. Yeah. Because sometimes it does get the Kai, but only... Like here on the edge, if they happen to stand up way too late. I wonder if... That... something was kind of sus there, actually. Ah, fuck, I lost control of my stick. Using three finger style to hold my joysticks keeps getting me killed every so often. Like one in 50 tries, maybe? That doesn't work either. This is not one of those things that you need like a click box or a mix box to do, is it? Because reaction speed be damned, I'm fairly sure I'm doing this fairly fast. Doing this fairly fast, even if it is a lever. It's so weird. Made a lobby eight four eight two two two. All us hang by VC if you want to communication during matches. Sure. All right. Let me pop in voice chat then. And I'll go ahead and pop into your. Lobby. I guess my hair is dry enough. I'll go ahead and put on my headphones as well. Is it okay to be here? It's all right. Okay. I don't really use the Lulz Live channel as mu are much anymore, so this one's a general voice chat. But anyway, um, hi. Uh, everyone, it's been a while. This is Tear Wolf joining us for some Guilty Gear Strives. Let me turn on Fujitech so you can actually see their uh, avatar. There it is. How you been? Long time to see. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been. <laughs> I I just explained that. <laughs> Uh, the stream that I had been under a heavy work schedule and I've been getting anxiety from the whole each day, so it, it made Aww. me not want to stream at the time. Oh, <laughs> it's not serious or anything. I just feel like I'm not doing much of my job, and I want to be like, maybe I hope people aren't on to me like on the lack of work. It's it's hard. I'm that's how I'm I feel still, about. I'm still a junior level. That's how Although I feel today, about. Hmm? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say that's how I feel about tweeting at work. <laughs> but go on. Uh, yeah. yeah, but on, on on the bright side, today I actually ha had a heavy workload for oh, once. So, so they nice. got me doing stuff. Uh, 
the bad part is it didn't work out so well for my boss. He's he's stuck on something he's trying to work on. Mm hmm. I feel bad for him. Oh, he tried so hard. And got too far. Yeah, it's a coding thing. Oh, we got okay. like got one of those things where it just doesn't want to work. I was making a Linkin Park reference. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Linkin oh, Park uh, anyway. So yeah. So yeah, I'll be trying Asuka. I have not any experience with this character. I'm only playing him because it fits my aesthetic. He is certainly a character of all time, I'll say that much. The character of all time. Yeah, the most desired. And mm -hmm. finally, he's there. Angels have sword. Also a lot smaller than he looks, isn't he? Ah, that didn't make you fly? What? I had no clue. I just realized, yeah, I uh, once I'm in the corner, what am I supposed to do? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Here, go fuck around with his uh, projectiles for a little bit first. Oh no, you, you gotta show, not show mercy, that's the point. All I right. heard his brutal is very difficult to do because he's got a charge so much. I was actually kind of afraid that Asuka would be broken as shit, but so far what I'm hearing is, uh, hearing from people is, he, this is the most complex fighting game character they've ever played. Which makes sense given a bunch of his uh, kit is literally just around playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Are swap constantly swapping his deck out and playing pots of greeds and stuff. Like, he straight up, one of his moves, one of his cards, you have one actually in your hand right now. One of his cards, um, is the whole purpose of it is just to shuffle the deck. And you're supposed to activate it if you don't have any good hands, more or less. What the? I grabbed you. I know, but like, did, was there invincibility there? Uh, it was like too late on my meaty? It looked like she passed right through it. I am not sure. Let's try it again and see what happens. Yeah. How has the netcode been? Word is this actually, it hasn't actually been fixed, but it's better than normal since people aren't playing in a self-fulfilling prophecy. For what I heard was, um, people are actually able to get matches and they're just disconnects in-game from time to time, which I don't trust that being a matter of the netcode being bad, I think that's just people rage quitting like normal. But I haven't gotten the chance to try out tower yet. I mean, if it's if streamers are still having issues, the most I've heard about that is that oh, there's some la weird lag thing going on. But that's like whatever. At this point. Diaphone was talking about how there's a possibility that people might either create tools or something to assist in making Asuka easier to play. And that's... Uh, I don't really know what he was referring to. At first I thought he was talking about like people who... Those people who make bots to play as the characters for them. I imagine a botted Asuka would be especially disgusting since they would be able yeah, to... We don't need bots or AI doing our work for us. That seems uh, <laughs> un superfluous. But at the same time, uh, I guess I was afraid of Asuka being more broken than he currently seems. Right now, he just seems like the, the zoner of all time. Ow. Nice. Is that a grab or a command grab? No, it's just a grab. It's so fancy. At first I was like, is that a command grab? Ow. Okay, Testament. <laughs> ah! Shit! No, let me grab you, damn it. Wait until people figure out how to play him. 
Well, we didn't see as many Bedman players after Bedman came out, right? And Bedman, it won't, some people complained that Bedman was too good too. For a little while, anyway. Yeah, I completely forgot about Bedman. Bedman does have a couple sick combo strings that are fairly easy to do, but... Eh. I don't think he's that bad. The problem wasn't Bedman, it was the game not working, Lamau. Don't you mean working just as intended? Ow, 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 ow. Oh yeah, this is the Zoner gameplay of all time right here. God damn it. Ow. I don't... Did, there was a breaking animation of some kind just then. And I'm not sure what that was. Nice reversal. Io? Oh my god. I don't know what just happened, but that was kind of cool. Why aren't you dead yet? Fuck me. Weird. He's, he's low on mana. That should have killed. Yeah, it really should have. Or he should have been chipped to death. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, something about something in the game mechanics, something about if he runs out of mana, he dies or something? I don't know. Yeah, something like easy, low defense. I wonder if that's because if you sit tight, if you uh, sit tight for a second, do you notice that there's this shield that's around the character when I punch, when he when he actually gets hit? You know, not, oh yeah, is it that flash right there? No, not that flash. It's this, it's a, uh, it's just a weird hexagon thing. That thing. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm wondering if that's supposed to be his magic mana shield or whatever, and if his mana running out means that that shield's gone. Because I read something that supposedly he's actually really frail, and if it wasn't for his magic powers, he would die from being, like, like someone sneezing on him or something. You take reduced damage when you have mana and take extra when you're out? Okay. 2S2D doesn't Gatling. Out. Hey, my mana seems to be automatically filling again. Uh huh. Is it only because it's delayed for so long? Maybe. I think it does automatically fill on its own. I don't know if you have to there if you're supposed to charge it or what. I wonder what the purpose of that staff coming out is supposed to be. It makes the it makes the cubes uh, go around like this. Oh. It makes huh. them rotate around the staff. Out. All right, I can't. I still can't get the 5K to 6H to up dolphin to work, but it's already obvious now that I should probably do 5K to 6H anyway instead of doing 5K to 3K because I don't get punished for sliding, unlike doing hitting someone with an anchor from like half the fucking map away. So, so that way we're like getting like uh, the dolphin to come after they're knocked down. Yeah, there's this thing 
that I see some May players use, which is almost always safe. It's this uh, Gatling combo where they do 5k, where they do the kick, the, bait, the neutral kick, then they come out with, a, with the uh, long range anchor, right? And then they immediately fly with the dolphin. But I've not been able to replicate it, and it's starting to fuck me up a bit. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I can't seem to replicate some kind of uh, dash Roman cancel into grab as Nago. Hmm. And he does it very quickly. I saw I saw the big champ do, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but do it constantly. It's like, yeah. what's the deal with that? It, there's always some delay when I do it. Me too. I don't know if it's a controller thing or if it's, I don't know. Is there something, there might be a step I'm missing or there hmm. might be something fucky about it that makes it look easier than it actually is. Hey, Sarvt, I'm doing okay. How are you tonight? Let's see. Beams. Indeed. And once again, since there's a new character installed, everyone's version, everyone has there has um has Asuka popping up as Kara name. Uh, it's just Kara name. Car name, car name. I guess it it seems to show up the most when you have mods, but they fix that eventually. You can't RC grab, but you can cancel RC into special. Was it a command grab? Are you asking me? Yeah, that's or? it. That's, that's me. That's what I mean. RC command grab. Those are overheads? What the fu- oh my god. There's the weakness. Oh my. Yeah. I mean, I guess it makes sense. He's a zoner, so he doesn't like being forced in the corner, right? I'm, I'm assuming that's how this works. I saw in the trailer Nago is just straight up destroying the projectiles by hitting them though. I wonder if I can do that. Oh no. Nice grab. <laughs> what in the world is that box? This is like gigant I'm getting PTS Giganter Kai PST PSTD now. Or PTSD now. Ah, it looks like you just did an unlimited blade works on my ass, or in this case it would be unlimited cube works. I knew that was going to happen. If I can't do this that dolphin thing properly, it's just going to get me killed. In fact... I almost feel like it'd be more safe to just use horizontal dolphin in that case. I haven't done that. I have not fucked up that combo in forever. Uh, bad habits are coming back. Oh no. Not me wasting an RC. Totally. Still the fastest 5k in the west though. Mm. I did not see it coming. <laughs> 
You can cancel an RC if you input a special before to slow down. Really? Never mind, it works with any grab. Hmm. Ow. Yasuka does a shit ton of damage. God damn. It's to make up for that weak defense, that's for sure. And I just realized... Okay. Did you see that? That it exploded a breaking animation. I think that was your mana fa your mana shield failing. I like... Probably is. Yeah, because I like you. I kicked you. There was this very interesting noise that came afterwards. And then an animation of the shield just physically dissolving. Yeah, that must be what it is. Seems to have seemingly okay normals. No, fuck! God damn it! <laughs> Game! Oh, who am I kidding? It was my fault. That was def. That was my fault. I. F <laughs> We do a little trolling. That's another thing I'm trying- I need to work into my play more often. Uh, stagger animations, or staggering people, in general. Damn it. What the? That's something I noticed in May, I think after not this patch, but the patch is previous. I can actually do, I can literally do Tatsugeki, heavy Tatsugeki or regular Tatsugeki into, into May's 5H forever. Presuming that the other person do either doesn't break out of it or has health. It's really fucking weird. I did I I actually trapped Al Champone when he was playing Bedman with that and it was and it was so disgusting that Vemboy was like That was fucking cruel and I'm like, yeah, I didn't know I could do that. That's why I still don't like this game. There are block strings that last nearly forever somehow. Now, you can't actually get out of it if you mash because Heavy Dolphin and also 5 a Heavy Dolphin has a break, but it's when you first encounter it for the first time, it looks it's fucking disgusting, it's fucking intimidating as shit. On the other hand, I don't know any other maze who've done that, so I'm pretty sure so I'm assuming that the other maze think it's a garbage tactic, so who knows. Ow, 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 ow. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Another fun tidbit, I found out that apparently when Mei attacks with her sea life, she is quite literal. she's actually- it's not just, like, a game mechanic for the sake of gameplay, it's actually in canon how she fights in, in the world, in the universe of Guilty Gear. She quite literally opens up a teleportation portal, summons an animal out of nowhere, uses it to attack, and then makes the animal disappear again back to where it came from. So, even though it doesn't seem like it, not only does Mei have super strength, she also apparently can teleport things and has the ability to command sea life. That's kind of fucking disgusting when you th <laughs> That's actually kind of... That's actually kind of fucked up when you think about... No! I whiffed the command grab! Uh, 
I'm trying to figure out what <laughs> when to pay attention to spells. <laughs> January it's... patch buff dolphin? Really? I didn't know that. Buffs in what way though? Because I did try doing that uh that quote unquote infinite against someone against a decent player once and they were able to mash their way out of it. So I'm guessing it's one of those things you only do once and then you never do again against the same opponent because they will find a way around it. Unless the opponent's actually I don't actually I don't know if there's any character that has a move that's slow enough that's so slow that they can't break out of that because once again Heavy Dolphin is fairly slow, has a lot of wind up. I think the other thing is that Heavy Dolphin is positive. Has po is positive on block, while Light Dolphin is not. Yeah, there we go. Ow. Hey, Lispy, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Ah, happy Femboy Friday. Welcome, 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 welcome. We're just playing tonight with uh, one of our VTuber friends, Tearwolf. We're currently in a lobby together. They're also streaming at the moment. How are you doing? No cross-ups for you. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh shit! I will not be able to block that. Oh. Well, I haven't seen him taking advantage of that move. <laughs> Probably the emergency escape option. I actually not only that move is actually pretty is actually pretty fucking is actually pretty damn good. Um, I saw some playthroughs of people using it to break other projectiles to break other supers. Surprisingly, you can use that to counter soul bad guys. Uh. Whatever you call a move where he flies across the screen and you have to jump over it or die. It was... It was actually kind of freaky. Gonna eat some dinner soon? Oh, nice, nice. H Dolphin is now plus seven. So you can basically do whatever you want. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm loving it. I'm gonna die. I got crossbow to death. All I know is I'm definitely putting myself in a big handicap because I still don't have the full, full Guilty Gear uh, regular style experience. <laughs> How do you mean? Well, I don't know the basic uh, ba basic pressure combos or whatnot. They have this universal way. Uh, you can see me doing pokes, but never following up after after them to, mm -hmm. to regain pressure. Oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm pretty much the same way. It's only recently that I bothered even looking at a May Guide. And all I did was memorize, like, two. Two bread and butters. <laughs> um, that's all I had patience for. You saw me do one of them in the corner, and the other one is pretty much just... It's basically, um... What, uh... It's basically... Well, this is the other one. The other would have been... Shoot, now I can't remember what it was. Was it, uh... Oh, wait. It was... I don't know why I didn't 6H then, or 5H then, but... You know what, game? Fine.
Ooh. rip. Nice overhead. Like, he definitely has stuff to back him up on a lot of things, so if he mm -hmm. makes a lot of mistakes... Uh... If he makes a lot of mistakes, he... ...can be forgiven because of the damage output. <laughs> Indeed. That one just redeemed the song up for me. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, shit, I fucked it up. Wrong spell. Mm -hmm. Just remembered I have burst, but for some reason I'm forgetting to FD. You're getting better at Asuka already. Just with some pokes. Are you actually like actively thinking about what spells to use, or are you just shooting whatever happens to be in your spellbook? Shooting whatever just happens and thinking on on what to do with them. Ah, There's a lot okay. of brain power involved. Yeah, or so I've heard. There you go. See? Told you that thing you can break out of that. That's another thing I can't do properly. Um, I'm trying to... I want really want to do some of those air combos that people have that involve dusting. And I can't seem to open up, get... To make an op... Create an opportunity to do one. Which is weird too because... Some may swear by her being more of a grounded character than air based character or more combo... More uh, corner heavy. But then every now and then you see someone that just has these sick air... These fucking, these sick air moves, and it's like, I want to do that. Even though it's going to get me killed most of the time just trying to replicate it.
Oh my god. Imagine... <laughs> Imagine if they could not let the opponent see what cards you had left in your deck. Only if it was online, that would be weird. I feel like it would be similar to Nago's Blood Gauge, where if they couldn't see how much blood you had left, they wouldn't be able to, pre to prepare for you accidentally wasting all of your blood. Now, to be fair, there is an animation for Nago when he does, so maybe it wouldn't matter as much. Hey, Vim boy. Oh no, I'm blurry. But I imagine, but if, if you couldn't see that for... If you couldn't see that for um, Asuka, it would be kind of sick for the fact that I wouldn't be able to tell how many cards you had left. So I wouldn't, I would be, I would play a lot more carefully otherwise. On the other hand, if I watch you pretty much burn all of your deck of cards, that's just going to make me want to go on the attack. Damn it! Did you know I was going to try and command grab just then? No. That did not go according to plan. Yeah, it says here you have two cards left, but they're all read it out for some reason. Who won? Oh. What? But, yeah, I was but, confused there, too. <laughs> oh, I know what happens. I know what happens. I drain what? my health to gain, gain my mana. Oh. So it's an obvious situation. I the S button. Rip. Happy Femboy Friday, indeed. Same to you. Ow. Ow. All right, now I'm starting to get Happy Chaos PTSD. Oh, don't give me sorry, Happy Chaos. I think this <laughs> is Happy Chaos is a losing matchup for Asuka. You think so? Yeah, think of the think of the gun he keeps shooting while he's trying to charge. Oh, that's true. I mean, I feel also like because technically Happy Chaos also has to charge. He has to literally regain his focus and reload his gun, but. It would just be, I guess it would just be a game of resources, right? Whoever uses their, whoever uses their resources the most intelligently or whatever. Hey, Steel, welcome to the stream. Hey, if I'm not interrupting anything, can I get a room code? You are not. Uh, Tearwolf, do you mind if he plays with us? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the more the merrier. Uh, the room code was in chat. 848422. Um, Oh, uh, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Oh, shit. I'm not dead. Interesting. Game, let me summon the fucking orca. Holy shit. That's Ooh, not what I wanted to do, but okay. <laughs> uh, eight four eight four two two. Yeah, no kidding. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, for fuck's sake. What fresh hell is this? Getting all my cards back. Pog. I could have sworn I was crouching. You grabbed me? A double sweep? It wasn't a sweep. I did 5k on you twice somehow. That's never happening again. Steel, you're up. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vimboy. Uh, and thank you for pinning that as well. Uh, is he still there? Uh, oh, oh, he's there. Okay, good. Yeah, he's here. I'll go into hello? spectate now. Ah! Hello, hello. Do you care which side? No. Alright. Vimboy, do you want to play with us? Do, 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 do. And there must be something he can do to be have some safe pressure while these when all his spells are gone. As he'll need some kind of sweep to re-emerge them. Like Jam with her cards. Okay, don't work too hard. <laughs> now there's a pretty meme. Honestly, I was kind of surprised because the projectiles and the reloading the projectiles was going a lot faster than I thought it would. But I saw Diaphone was uh, playing around with... Diaphone was playing around with Asuka in an early in a recent vid and he found a way to optimally uh, reload the cards in reducing re with the uh, quickest tempo possible The main thing I had an issue with was keeping track of what spells were slotted where. Like, I could kind of get what spells I had equipped, but it's just like, oh, this was the kick spell and I had it. I tried to cast using Slash. Man, I cannot wait for the Asuka mods. You know someone's going to exploit the shit out of that awesome cloak he's wearing. I think I figured it out. Every attack has so much of this uh, hit stop or hit stop. I keep thinking it's that it's uh not safe on block because <laughs> they always look slow. Yeah, now I see it. That's why it doesn't feel like Guilty Gear. Hmm. That I grew up with. What does? I'm just starting to realize why it just, uh, why it just feels doesn't like, doesn't feel like Zard in a way. 
In what way? Well, like uh, I said, the hit stop. Uh, all of all of Kai's attacks, for instance, there's a, always a big delay in them. Oh, that's that's me. I'm intentionally delaying them. You are. I. Uh, uh, it, Kai doesn't have a lot of tools, so um, delayed Gatlings is one of the things I really like. Like, in the, in the next match, I'll perfect Gatling everything so you can see. Yeah, but, even so, they always look like they're, there's, like, a vulnerability there, and it's like, oh, there's an opening. Oh, it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's, um... I almost rely on it too much, because you can mash out of it if you know what I'm doing, but once I've got someone in the corner, I just try and get them with frame traps. Because if they, if they don't challenge, I'm pressuring them, and if they challenge, hopefully I can... Is it because... Tearwolf is expecting it now because just now it seemed like he was doing a decent job of blocking your initial wave of attacks. I mean, that's how mix-ups work. Mix-ups aren't perfect. They at, at the end of the day they're 50-50s. Either the opponent's going to fall for it or not. That could have gone either way. I mean... What's the matter of spell? It's like, all I can do is just uh, be, play like a normal character. But yeah, delayed Gatlings are a good trick for getting wins if you don't want to practice combos. Basically playing Street Fighter. <laughs> well, yeah, that's it's the same philosophy. Oh, man, that's, I thought that was a big one. I think that's part of the reason why I'm even able to play Strive compared to other anime-ish fighters, even though Strive is the easy, one of the easiest of the anime-ish anime fighters. Because I always played it more like I would play Street Fighter, and when I was playing Street Fighter 6, I thought to myself, yeah, this is definitely more of the fighting game style that I prefer. As opposed to... Like, even with Tekken... I can play Tekken with... Uh, here, I'll fight you, Lulz. Sure. I can play Tekken with, like... Short combos and with... A lot of uh, back-and-forth trading. But I can't do what a lot of Tekken players do, which is pretty much memorizing at least one or two BNBs for their characters, which usually involves at least, like, what, seven or eight steps? And I'm like... Yeah, I could probably do half of that. <laughs> well, yeah. that's the other thing. If you can, if you can play Kai, you can basically play Ken. You can basically play Shiki. You can basically play Yunarakami. Yeah. Hey, Aster. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing tonight? Happy Fanboy Friday. Piss Lord, did I finish I'm my? character sheet um no i it's mostly finished what's not finished is the fact that the character create the character sheet created i was using does not include android as a race so there's a whole bunch of shit that i'm missing like the um class features and such so i have to basically remake my sheet either from scratch either tomorrow morning or it's really late tonight 
What's this? Some kind of D and D campaign? Uh, yeah, we're. I'm gonna be playing Pathfinder. We're gonna be playing Pathf Pathfinder First Edition tomorrow morning. I have oh, never. Okay. I have never played Pathfinder, but it's apparently like D and D 3.5. So. Um. Yeah. Somehow we all made our character sheets into different things. <laughs> Yeah, it sure seems that way. I've never played a D&D &D game in my life, and I wish I could. Oh, <laughs> would you like to... You could... We could ask... Te we could probably ask uh, Cosmo Burke... Cosmo if you can join our server if you want to play... If you want to get your feet wet with some tabletop RPGs. Um, Aster is part of a group of uh, YouTuber friends that I collab with regularly that we basically just play role-playing games all the time. Probably. I probably I, I need to go, uh, build a character out of a sheet though, right? Um, we could just give that to you. I know it's just not big. That's not a big deal at all. Oh, but there's much uh, more creative fun in designing your own character out of that, right? As long as you know the rule sets. Yeah, and basically all you're doing is just following the is you're just following the order the uh, directions, which is basically <laughs> like think of a name, choose your alignment, roll some dice, yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not hard, it's tedious is what it is, and the number crunching gets fucking annoying. But that's also why more recent tabletop games are less number crunchy. Pathfinder 1st Edition is just really old, that's why it's like that. Mm. Okay, I need to focus. I, I can't, I can't uh, talk and play at the same time when I'm playing against Sakai. Not that I'm going. Not that I'm going to win this match because I'm way too behind right now. But I wouldn't mind playing. I haven't played Pathfinder, but I'd love to play something again. I actually want to try out. I want to put a group together to play GURPS. Ooh, classic. Oh that shit. That's not the super I meant. You can kill with that? What? Fuck yeah. me. It's an attack. Oh it's my god. Oh. It's not invincible, but it is an attack. I thought I was going to come back from that. Fuck me. <laughs> it's like winning of a Luigi taunt. I should have known you were going to grab. I could have wall broken there. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's game anyway, but fuck. <sighs> uh, Pathfinder itself is needlessly complicated. That's really funny when you consider that Pathfinder was created in reaction to D&D being overly complicated. <laughs> well, it was created at D&D becoming overly, like, gamey and combat focused. Yeah. Fourth edition wasn't confusing, but it was just, like, it was a minis game. It wasn't D&D. I... Do not have a good memory of 4e. Oh, and I studied D&D 4th edition. I was ready I mean, to play that, when, but I didn't have anyone available at the time. You, It's not like you can't have fun playing it, but... It, uh, it got old fast, because there was, like, no class customization, really. We're done, Basically, more like playing a war game than anything else. At the time that 4e... Yeah, it felt like a minis game. At the time that 4E was new, it was also described as to appeal to the World of Warcraft fans, which is weird to think about nowadays, I guess. Yeah, why appeal to a, to a demographic that's probably going to fade alongside it? Well, not only that, but it uh, was appealing to a demographic that specifically doesn't like tabletop role-playing games. There's a reason they played RPGs online. It's so that they didn't need to do, you know, all the number crunching and stuff. No offense to anyone who enjoys both MMOs and tabletop RPGs, of course. Oh wait, hey, by the way, if I heard right, you placed top 8 somewhere? I mean, it was a 12-person tournament, but yeah, I was joking that this is the first time I ever placed in the little graphic thing at the end. And that was because, part of that was because my first opponent dropped, and... My next opponent was a brisket who was relatively new to Strive, so 
they were decent, but I was still able to defeat them. And then I got crushed by and then I got crushed by a by a um a decent Anji player and also the sickest possible Ramathal I've ever played in my life, who really oh. put the fear of Ram into me like none before has. But I do not want that. I do not want that on my place. Like everyone I can swap over to Ram if you guys want. You, no. <laughs> you can. I don't mind playing you when you play get, when you play Ram, but this Ram steal was yeah, fucking I'm... disgusting. Like so disgusting that I see now why people hate Ram so much. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not very good at Ram Terrorwolf, so because I guess part of it was this Ram used her kit in a way that I've never seen Rams typically do. Not even, not even Roaring Nim Nim plays Ram like this person does. It's very interesting. Then again, I don't really meet that many Ram players to begin with, which is strange because you would think Ram would be one of those characters that would be a magnet, right? Because she's like, she's got waifu potential and all that good shit. And also the burger memes. But I don't know. She, it was just, she was a disgust, they were a disgusting Ram. But um, yeah, that was the first time I ever actually had my picture in one of those little uh, top eight uh, graphic things. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, if only I, if only back then Pokken, I would be in the, that era. <laughs> I mean, do people still play Pokken? There's always a chance that that could change. It doesn't matter. I'm retired anyway. Oh, okay. Crap. Uh, let me catch up with Chip. Uh, she rammed me. Yes, she did. Burgett is husband of material. This is true. Waifu, either or. They're certainly marriage material. <sighs> um, I don't think so. They're like a hobo. I mean, true. But uh. I was working with Akka earlier today and she did hers inside Roll20. I use charactersheet.uk.co. I use something called Anvil, which is apparently a um, an old character creator that's being supported by Patreon right now that was made specifically for 1E. But um, my character sheet is mostly complete. It's just that the feet section of Anvil broke when I tried to do that, even though it let me do everything else. So I need to add my feats. And I'm definitely... And I need to add all my Android stats shit. And aside from that, uh, that's pretty much all I need done, really. I don't know how long that's going to take. With my luck, it's probably going to take the rest of the evening. Uh, who am I fighting against? We were now spectating nothing. <laughs> uh, who do you want to fight, Tear Wolf? Uh, whoever comes first. You're up. Okay. Oh shit! Wrong. Yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> this isn't. This isn't Ramblefall. Oh, I can play Ram. <laughs> I'm joking, but <laughs> whatever. But um, yeah, I fought against a really good Angie, and I got to that was that one when it was on stream. So I got to listen back to the VOD and see what they said about my play against the Angie. I felt bad too because I actually managed to corner the Angie player and keep them stuck there with some wall combos. But then, for reasons that I don't understand either, re watching back my own play, I decided to stop the pressure, and of course, he's not going to stay there. <laughs> Uh, were you were you predicting a spin? I don't know Maybe what. Maybe you thought he was gonna panic spin at a corner. Mm, I wasn't afraid of a panic spin. It's just like you know how I usually do my wall combo stuff. I was doing that. He was blocking them, but he was stuck. And I just you see me just literally I back up and then I just stood there for like half a second, as if I was letting him escape on purpose. And, of course, he did that, and he was able to come back from that. And I'm like, why did I do that? I just had a brain fart. I got someone in the corner, and I'm like, wait, what does Ram do in the corner again? Hmm? 
But yeah, the ram was doing some move where they jumped in midair and they did this motion with the swords where they just sort of slashed the air in front of them. And that, oh, yeah. that made up like the majority of their uh, kit because it takes up so much fucking space. It's really fast. And it was hard for me to contest that. And I just thought to myself, I don't think I've ever seen a ram really do that very often. Up to that point. That one. Not that one. It was this one where they just really quickly slashed the air in front of them. That one. That one. And yeah. they, they did it a lot. And I'm like, this is fucking oppressive as hell. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you're not the type of person that needs to have space controlled against them. Maybe. Lols, what are you going to be playing in Street Fighter 6? I'm going to work on my spacing. Um, my waifu, Sakura, neither Sakura or Makoto are in Street Fighter 6 right now. But I decided to play Ken for the lols to get my Daigo on. And I have immediately fallen in love with Ken again. So I'll be playing Ken. I thought I was going to be playing Ryu. Uh, but I prefer Ken's speed wait. and his kicks attacks. Daigo, so Ken? I mean... Wouldn't, wouldn't you play Guile if you wanted to do Daigo? Daigo, uh, back when Daigo did the uh, Daigo parry, he was playing Ken. Yeah, but Daigo is like the, he is the Guile. When did he start playing Guile? Is that for Street Fighter V? Uh, Street Fighter Three, Like, right after that tournament, he swapped to Guile, and he's, like, known for being Guile. Really? He, wrote, he literally wrote the book on playing charge characters. You're shitting me, really? That's really ironic. <laughs> eh, I'll stick with Ken for a little while. Fuck it. Because so I tried playing Guile was actually the first character I tried in Street Fighter 6. And then I quickly realized I don't know what the how the fuck to play Guile. <laughs> but I do know how to play Ryu and Ken. <laughs> Just fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure Guile eats Sonic Boom. And then if they jump at you, you flash kick. And that's the whole character. Yeah. You gotta jump over them to make a flash kick miss, apparently. He's got some other stuff in Street Fighter 6 that I've never seen before either. Uh, something, some weird move that he does to Sonic Boom, except it's, it doesn't move any farther than his fists. And he, like, catches people in it. And, um... Uh, Nash has that move in 5. Yeah, that one. Uh, Pathfinder is so crunchy, I actually make 5e character sheets for fun. I believe in you, people on Lawler's stream. <laughs> this shader is so good. The shader mod I have on here. Makes me, I don't know why they chose to use a more flat shader for Street Fighter, for not Street Fighter 6, for a Guilty Gear, for a Strive. It Damn. just... Damn, is right. Uh, that's the Ramlethal experience. This is certainly the Ram play Seems of like all time. Seems like projectiles are useless against your swords. Also, that man is really short. I'm kind of curious to see how Asuka would do against the other zoners, like um, Happy Chaos, like um, like uh, really? Did I forget his name? Axel. Axel, um, Happy Chaos, uh, Testament, I guess, would be a zone or two. Ah, jump start.
Oh shit. Oh, oh man. What's going on? Oh, my controller turned off. Oh, oh man. Rip. going on uh hold on i'm gonna have to get my cord uh oh uh wireless uh, problems uh, yeah <laughs> um shit um damn that means i gotta unplug something Uh, this isn't even the right cord. Bro, Asuka do be wearing tennis shoes. They weren't kidding, those are some sick ass shoes. I wonder if we yeah. can ex I wonder if there's gonna be any Asuka cosplayers at this year's Momocon or Dragon Con. So that's what time up is like. It's like it never comes there. Mm -hmm. And connection's right. been lost. Oh dear. We lost him. Oh no. I wonder what he had to disconnect just to fix his controller. Well, it's not like he disconnected in the voice. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, he's disconnected in the voice chat too. Did he lose oh, internet dear. just from? That's kind of bizarre. So weird. Well, you realize that, that Asuka just has normals and projectiles. You could just block both of them mm -hmm. any given time. Ow. <laughs> All that, only for you to punch me in the face. Yep, that was command grab. Been trying to force myself to use it more often and to get used to the motions for it, especially since I'll need to know it for Shoryukens anyway. It's kind of bad if I can't. If I can't, I figure if I can't do command grab and strive, there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to do it consistently in Street Fighter VI. So I better learn now. Casting. Welcome back. Which is the other thing that kind of fucked me up about trying to play Guile. Um, I know... Hello. hello. I know okay. that... Yep. Everything's working now. Like... I know that the timings are going to be different for the fact that they're different games, right? But for some reason, I just cannot do Sonic Booms properly with Guile in Street Fighter VI. And I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of the timing is different from doing Tatsugeki. I don't know, why didn't that hit me just- was that an- oh, that was an overhead. I mean, it very- may very well be a different timing than Dolphin is. Oh my god! I didn't- I thought you had no mana left. I was like, fuck. <laughs> the, other, the other mana. 
Does that not require mana? What the fuck? It does not require mana. Oh my god. Okay, it's good. It's pretty much the equivalent of that Street Fighter move. That's you know, good. When you lose drive impact. That's good to know then. <laughs> I thought that required mana to use. I guess not. Oh my god. Bruh, no, no, shit! <laughs> you mean to tell me that not only does it go underneath the whale, but so fast? Okay, you know, that's why it's, it's able to... It's, wow. This is emergency get off me button, and I guess I people have been relying on a lot for some reason. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> All right. I'm back. Welcome back I, to a stage of history. I, I hate PC gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you playing on PC now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ow. Ow. Bro, I'm being walled against, walled by a fucking zoner. That's a greatest disrespect. Ridiculed by someone saying that, oh, he's not a zoner. <laughs> nice burst. Ow. That's weird. I thought I blocked that. Oh, no. Nice air combo. Holy shit. It's a pretty basic one. Still. <laughs> The only problem is, for some reason, the half circle motion is difficult. That gaddling is kind of sick, not gonna lie. Ow. Nice burst. Oh no. That move is gonna fuck up so many people, I swear to god. You did not just grab grab my fucking <laughs> startup of those projectiles what projectiles oh just the cubes yeah i have no idea i think i just got lucky i'm assuming i just got lucky anyway damn it No charging for you. Ouch. Gold burst.
Oh, you caught me in while I was doing the beach ball. And you fired it twice. Fuck. Resources. Listen, nothing beats double super. Yeah. Unless you're a character that doesn't have, that can't do double supers. I mean, I guess I could, but why would I? I learned that from playing Faust. You do the old four leaf clover, and then if it doesn't hit, as soon as you're done blocking, you immediately do it again. Mm hmm. Yes, I was able to jump over you. Just grab me as soon as I jump over it. I just got whiplashed. Uh, GG's. Unpredictable. <laughs> well, unless you read the cards. Man. Oh, it didn't end at... Uh, hmm. Okay, I thought we were playing first to three. It's first to three. Yeah, you should be... I thought it was already first to three right now. Bruh, I thought he jumped over that. Okay. No, block, 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 please. For fuck's sake. Oh my god. Oh my god. No shot. Oh, deceptive. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god. <sighs> nice. Is that? That's a far slash. I almost oh. never use it because it's easy to punish, but in that case, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and try just poking you from as far as possible. More or less. I usually use it to like either round start, which that's the reason why you're not supposed to do it at a round start because you could just punish it or punch it. And also, as you can see, it's kind of awkward. It's really slow. Most people just most people just use uh, 5H for that reason. Uh, 
I've been trying to get more in the habit of using my air slash as well instead of just doing air heavy. I'm dead. Huh. I'm just getting uppercut to death. Jesus. Wait. They made that move so useful to everybody. <laughs> Dear. GG's. GG's. <laughs> Please cross surface it with the books. You're up, Steel. Yep, your turn. Alright, who wants to fight? Mm hmm. Let's see. Ooh. Usually it's the winner stays. Gold oh, Lewis. Oh, okay. I mean, you can fight Gold Lewis if you want. If you want him first, that's fine. That's fine. Sure. Egghead Lewis. Gold Alex Yeekinson. Oh my god. Oh, are you using the mod that has him looking like Eggman? Mm-hmm. Well, one of the Eggmans. There's actually two Eggman mods, believe it or not. Huh. This is the one... The previous one I used was the one from the uh, anime. This is the one from the Sonic Adventure games. It even comes with Eggman music... Oh. With the Eggman theme from uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, I like that theme. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the Eggman. Yep, it was actually playing in one of the... Uh, Matches you guys were fighting or, or playing earlier. Have you ever played Sonic Adventure 2? Mm-hmm. So I played Sonic Adventure 2 Battle in particular. I've I played only... for a long time. Yeah. Have you ever come across Big the Cat making a cameo there? I did not know that he was in the game for the longest time, and then when I started seeing the YouTube videos of him appearing at the very beginning of the game, I started feeling like I was being Mandela. I was like, he was there the whole time? Really? Yeah. We see, uh, somehow we come across him like when we're watching cutscenes and we immediately skip the cutscenes thinking, What the? What was that? He was there just now. <laughs> so we missed it. It's like that. I'm kind of wondering why he was cut from the game anyway, outside of cutscene, outside of uh, cameos. Well, he's irrelevant. He's just, a, he's just an innocent bystander. I mean, was he relevant in the first Sonic Adventure game? All I remember. Not really. All I remember his, is that he did the- frog just got involved, that's all. Hmm. The only thing I know about the Sonic Adventure games is the real-time fan dub. <laughs> Pissing on the moon and all that good stuff? Yeah. Honestly, the Sonic Adventure 2 battle scared me as a child because it goes from 0 to 6. The story goes from 0 to 60 really quickly. And it, at some point... As it was happening, I was thinking to myself, wait, this is a Sonic game? And I'm not talking about Shadow. Shadow's part was kind of, was the whole cringy edgelord stuff. I'm talking about everything that leads up to Shadow, the reason why Shadow is the way he is. 
is like... I don't know. I can't even... I mean, yeah. it was just... I don't know. It was certainly the game of all time. You don't know how long... You have no idea how long we spent playing and racing Chows. Yeah, pretty much. And races. And That's, that was like the, the, the next Pokemon game at the time. And I would also just turn on the game just to listen to the music, honestly. Because there's a whole section where you could just play out the jukebox. Oh, uh, music is excellent. Okay, that's... He's been eaten by the whale! Mm -hmm. That's weird that I couldn't fault this. Uh... You were coming right off of a bird? I don't know. You knew yeah, I was going to There's a little vulnerability after a burst. Hmm. I always have weird input issues that only when I play Gold Lewis. Like, um, right there, after a sweep, I want to sprint, and sometimes the sprint doesn't come out. I just stand there. Is that so? Or, uh, right after a behemoth. I want to do that, but sometimes I just... If you see me stand there right after a behemoth, I put in sprint and he doesn't sprint. Nice burst. Um, okay. I guess I don't know the input for that move. I need to see a Jack Black mod of this guy. You know what? I'm surprised there isn't a Jack Black mod. That would be perfect, along with his voiceovers and everything. <laughs> Especially since there is, a, I think there's a, I know there's a Bowser in Guilty Gear. I don't know if it's Potemkin or if it's Gold Lewis. He's one of, it's one of them. It's, it's Gold, Gold Lewis. Lewis. Okay. He's holding the tank chomp. So yeah, what, right there. what they need is to... Put use Jack Black's voice from the movie and put that as Bowser's voice in the mod. <laughs> yeah. It would be perfect. I can hear him sing that song for the seven millionth time. Peaches, peaches, peach, peaches, peaches. <laughs> okay, I'm getting out of this voice chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> uh. I donated some money to a, to a charity, and I'm gonna have to have someone sing it as Carl. Ah. I should ask them to change the lyrics to Llamas. Carl! Now that's certainly a reference of all time. I wonder if anyone is bitched about the Dolphin to Heavy Slash maneuver. I don't... It's probably really gimmicky, because I don't really see other maids do that. I only do it because it's fun, I'm not gonna lie, but I know that someone, it's it's one of those things that people are gonna get smart to it really quickly. People complaining about the dolphin? Never. Bruh. No! FD! Oh, bollocks. Will it kill? Yes. Burp. Villain of legend, thank you for the hydrate redeem. Let me grab that really quick. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's that's game and that. I guess I'm in again. Hmm? Uh. Oh, if you yeah. want to be, yeah. Yep. I'm gonna make use um, of the time. Just have one more chance to see. Oh. Uh, did my character leave? Uh, looks like it. Yeah. It would seem so. Okay, I got that bug where you're stuck face down on the dual station and you can't leave, so I just had to quit the game. Oh. Oh. I didn't know that was a thing. 
that's one of the bugs people are complaining about. So, uh, the patch hasn't been given yet, has it? Mm, doesn't seem like it. I wonder what's going on then. Hmm. At this point, I have no clue what PR would would do when it comes to fixing the games. No, nah, no. Take Dragon Ball F Fighters, for instance. Hey, we promised rollback a year ago. Yeah, whatever happened to that? <laughs> yeah, they they could have prioritized making the game playable before adding in a, another character or two more characters. I think I'm done for the night. Alright, thanks for playing with us. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for mm -hmm. the games. Alright. I've been baited! I did not intend to do that, but I have to do that again in the future because that was fucking cool. <laughs> so, what the fuck did I do? I held back after I tripped you because you tried to burst it and then I retaliated with a fucking sure you a fucking dragon punch in the form of an orca? Something like that. This is one of those things that seems so simple and so like brain dead, and yet I did not think about it until just now, and that was by accident. <laughs> So, what is the point of the uh, rod being stabbed, like, being set up like that, anyway? It, like I said, it controls the movement of the projectiles. It vacuums them. Oh. That's interesting. No! How are you grabbing me from that distance anyway? What the shit? Can I grab you? Can I grab you out of it? Can I grab- I cannot grab you out of that. Damn it. <laughs> I was gonna freak if I could grab you out of that super. <laughs> there's also a staff that repels and there's also a slow down speed up version. So there's more than one staff? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm oh, yeah. calling. That's right. I noticed that. I'm calling it right now. Um, Asuka is way too complicated for my gorilla brain to play. He might actually be more technical. For... Well, too complicated for my field mind to play too. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're doing pretty well, all things considered. I've seen better from everyone else. Dude, he's only been out like two days. <laughs> I know, and I was watching all, all of them play him. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> Bruh. I don't know why I decided to face plant the electrical cube, but... That was certainly... Well, it's like, he's teaching me to burst more. Or mm -hmm. do any type of ways to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Everything but the Roman cancel. I, have, I haven't mastered that yet. Really? You were the one who taught me, who encouraged me to RC more often. Which is probably one of the best changes I ever made to my play, ever. Yeah, I could see on paper. I just haven't practiced it myself. So I'm still kind of... I'm still kind of morbing that I could not into Guile because a lot of his basic combos would basically work the same way his maze does, which is basically just hold back, hold back the direction pad or stick, what, or the stick while punching, immediately cancel into Sonic Boom, and then just keep, and then just push any two attack buttons. And that's basically one of the most basic moves you could do is Guile. And I can't do that because I just have not practiced Guile's Timings enough, I suppose. I hope you're ready for other fighting games to copy him, like with every other unique, with, like with every unique oh, yeah. FG character design. Hmm. I don't think oh, that's okay. good. Oh, go ahead. 
I was just going to say, I don't think that's going to happen because fighting games have been trying to be more, more accessible, not less accessible to people. Why would they add a character that you literally have to fucking actually study to know what you're doing? I mean, to be Guilty Gear has always been one of those things where I feel like it, they still make characters and they still do things just for the cool factor more than anything else. Speaking of Guile, I was tr I was in the personality test of that Street Fighter one. <laughs> and it kept giving me Guile as a result of my playstyle. Really? I'm like, what the heck? I'm not a Guile player. I'm not a turtler. <laughs> Is Guile a turtler? Oh, Guile, he's, a, he's like the ultimate turtler. Bruh. I saw at least two bootleg Gould Lewis's in other games shortly after his release. For real? I don't know what to, what to say then. I wonder why that's not staggering you. Oh god. Not again. Not again. Oh, I was able to FD at that time. He's kind of talkative, like mm -hmm. this this Asuka guy. Kind of like Bedman. I like how Asuka has two forms you can actually select a character select that aren't color that aren't color coded. Yeah, yeah. I picked the uh, I picked the real guy, but then again, if I lose with him, it'd be like <laughs> yeah, he's oh, basically man, I just made him look bad. <laughs> he's basically dead. Okay, yeah. I haven't really seen the story yet. Um. Because you're basically playing as his clone that he made or something? Because he's fragile. He's like fragile? Or I don't. I don't know. Something, something like that. that. Yeah, something like that. There's one movie he does where he changes his set of bookmarks, and I can't figure out, like, the purpose of that yet. Uh, there's a reason. At least from what I saw on Diaphone, basically you start, you have three decks of cards. The, uh, first yeah. one is, like, the simplest, and it's just basically attacks, and the third one, second one and third one have a lot more different kinds of spells. Like, you're just shooting projectiles right now. The second and third ones have a lot of other utility spells like teleportation and shit basically oh yeah i see mhm mm you see uh, it's like 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 they don't come out as as often mhm mm so there's multiple playstyles to go with this guy yep Multiple play styles, multiple cards, and then there's the bit of luck in there, and then you have to play blackjack with it, basically, and yeah. Indeed. Will I ever stop putting myself into bad situations because of my addiction to grabbing people? Probably not. I am probably continue playing Mei as a grappler despite her not being a grappler. Just for that sweet, sweet dopamine of being able to do that. 
Yes. Not that, but... Damn it. Oh my god, that was too fast. You know what? Maybe that move I was trying to do with the dolphin, with the uh, freaking 5k 6h dolphin, only works on counter hit, and I'm just, and I'm just kind of. But I could have sworn it didn't need counter hit to work, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh well. Alaska, oh, extremely complicated, Zelu. <laughs> Is that what he says? He's asking, how's Asuka? Oh. Honestly, he's kind of tiring to fight against because it's like, I don't know what's going to come out of your book next. I can see fighting against a pro-level Asuka being a very tense, very... Anxiety inducing match. I'm on my way to get some of that day one Asuka slash action. Oh, he's coming. Oh, I'm gonna be able to block that, thankfully. That move in particular is giving me cancer right now. Oh. I need to do that more often too, but... Ow. Ow. I think it's a reversal. Ow. Bruh! Bursted? Okay. So Lucos uh -oh. has entered the room. What's up? So Lucos sneeze sounds familiar. Do I know them? He's the Potomkin player. Oh. Are they in the Discord or a different. He's from uh, the. He's from Votham's Discord. Oh, I see. Pog. Oh, that's right. You're making a new controller, man. Is he playing a hitbox or a lever stick? I don't know. I didn't get a good look. Hmm. <laughs> Pog. He plays a lefty hitbox. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. Does it matter if you're a lefty or righty when playing video game controllers? It's, uh... I don't think it matters that much. Reverse Neo Kenstar. 30 millimeter actions jump and 24 millimeter movement. Oh, you're using a Shokan Star. Yeah, Shokan Star. I move with my right hand and use my left hand for actions. <laughs> I used to play that way on keyboard back when I used to play Mugen a lot. Uh, are you a Toho player? Me? <laughs> you have, no, no, uh, settle, settle. Oh. Uh. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, you, most Toho games, you have to go, go, go that way. Oh, he was. He was. Hog. <laughs> You know, I sh I'm not as good at Toho, but my brother sure plays the hell out of it. Always goes for the newest, newest game. Pausing stream while I wrestle. No problem. 
Oh, that's what he says. <laughs> oh, is he streaming right now too? I guess so. Yeah, it's a shame he doesn't have our our, our voice chat. Like mm -hmm. that's for sure. I'm definitely curious how House Cook can handle Potumkin. He should have an advantage, because Zoner. I imagine that it was probably one of those things where if the Potumkin gets close, it gets in close, it's game over. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time... You, you could probably Mega Fist over those projectiles. I just realized that Potemkin's destroy Happy Chaos means... So uh, we might be wrong. It's possible that he could just cross the screen and be like, sup. Oh. When you put it that way, yeah. Trust me, in certain games, this, this person can wallop. Mm-hmm. I wonder what he'll he'll what he'll made in Street Fighter. There awesome are... Marissa or Zangief. Oh shit. Nice oh cut. That was a disgusting comeback. Mad respect. Wait, it did not kill oh. Now it does. Three in a fucking row. <laughs> Shit. What an upset. so defensively and then go went for the offense the moment he knew the guard was down what is with that crab Nice burst. Oh. Double jump. Ah, uh, it's always the Gigantor Kai. 
I actually hate that move more than I do Potemkin Buster, believe it or not. Oh, I thought this was round three. Mm -hmm. Just out of reach. Can't believe he saw through that and said a prayer. What? Yeah, uh, he baited me into that one. GGS. <laughs> Try jumping. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no jumping. I saw, I saw you jump. He baited those. Oh, he means try jumping to avoid the grab. <laughs> Oh, yeah, doy. Problem is, is it? There's a jump start. You can meet that immediately. Why did I why did I drain my health for that? The S button why did I got the S button? <laughs> Panic? I don't know. Temporarily forgetting that uh, Potemkin is fat the Potemkin is faster than they may appear. Overheaded or something? I'm not mm -hmm. sure. I knew you can mega fist over those. See what I mean about how I could poke, but I don't know what to do afterwards.
Ooh. Nice. Not entirely sure what happened there, but we love to see it. Damage. Staggered to death. How do you do that? That's... I think I was trying to do that as Nago. It's so hard. Mm. My god. I comboed! You didn't just combo, you finished him off with your super. <laughs> It doesn't want to do the half circle. Why does it not want to do the half circle? Mm. It's just half circle back forward. You think it's, it'd be easy, but it's not. It's like sometimes it just doesn't want to work. It's one of those things where if you start just like panicking and your lever gets even slightly off, it starts to fail. At that point, some people just start spinning, trying to do a full circle with her stick in order to force something to come out. Even so, it feels feels like a, like like the input works. It's just just I don't know. I think it's my controller. Mm. It sometimes does not want to do diagonals properly. Are you using a controller? Oh, yeah, I use a pad. Okay. Fight sticks use too much muscle. <laughs> Checking out a possible issue with my down button, huh?
Did I not have enough tension? Really? Well, it worked. Game for fuck's sake. Oh. Have we already found? Maybe Vulture's just playing the play, playing the ping for our controllers. How come the game said we already played four matches, even though we've only played one so far? There's something. There's some something weird with inputs right now, and whatever. Wait. Hmm. The fuck? What, did you accidentally do dolphins without charging? No, it's a... It might just be them getting tired or something, but... I don't know. Okay, maybe you're burnt out. Eh. I'm just... I'm probably just being salty, fuck it. See, here's... Why is... Okay. It's fucking weird. Not sure what's going on. I could have sworn for a moment there that it was failing to register um, air dash backward into heavy slash and it was doing down slash instead dead and it was starting to piss me off i don't know if it's it's probably just my timing is shot now or something because it's not the stick the stick is not jank is not janky you never know when these on these online ports it's always a mystery yeah Okay, that was my bad. I've, that's one of my problems with trying to do forward down forward. If I don't push the shove the stick down to the left to the uh, to the fucking if I don't shove the stick like down when I'm doing that, it's not going to register as down forward down forward. It's going to register as forward. Oh, okay. I. S Okay, so yeah. I have to, it has to be clean. I can't, you can't bullshit that move, basically. Which is w one I of the... I understand that feeling. Which is one of the benefits a fucking hitbox has, I guess, over... Which is one of the benefits a hitbox has over stick that... It's more likely to come out because all you have to do is push two buttons. You don't need to. You don't need to push in a certain direction. Now you do have to do the timing properly, or the game is not going to register. Uh, doing pushing down, pushing right, center right as doing down forward down forward, but it's less likely to fuck up in that manner. Yeah. Whew.
I'm starting to get the hang of it. I'm so sorry. Why are you apologizing? I don't know. It was a... Because, you know, you're probably struggling with the controller and such, so... <laughs> it's not the controller. I'm just being shit right now. I need to get good. Okay, I get ya. It is a poor craftsman that blames his tools. Hmm. You've obtained a new badge. You can display a new badge. I don't know what those are about. <laughs> Generally, it's harder if you... uh, sorry, what? Oh, I'm reading. Uh, it's actually harder if you are using a standard SOCD because if you hit left and right, you get neutral and drop your charge. So you gotta make sure you release left first. That's what he's saying. I'll keep that in mind. I'm not sure if I'm going to adopt the hitbox as my daily driver because. It's giving me the same problems that I used to have when I played keyboard, which is my fingers start to burn. Mm -hmm. They don't... I actually prefer playing lever nowadays because it doesn't hurt my hand as much. Which is weird too, because you would think that punching attack buttons all day would hurt your fingers, but for me it's punching directional buttons, which does that strange. It all depends on if you're relying more on movement or poking. Mm. And in May's case, it's movement. Yeah. Uh, let's see. He also says, unless you run an alternate SOCD like I do, instead of neutral, I get whatever button I hit second. Well, that's uh, good to know. Yeah, I press more movement buttons than action buttons, hence why I swapped to a lefty layout for my hitbox. That makes sense. It uh, helps get rid of a habit. Mm hmm. Or, actually, it exploits a habit to your advantage. Yeah, it definitely do. <laughs> I feel you on hand fatigue, though, he says. Mm -hmm. Oh, gee, oh, my. RC bait. <laughs> Oh no, it's over. 
I can't remember what just happened. I don't know why, but I just like blinked and in Asuka's place, I saw Strider her you instead and I was very confused like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm assuming it's the clothes, it must be the clothes or something that got me. Now there's a pretty meme. I wonder if the different elemental types of each of the cubes does anything different. Like debuffs or something. At first I thought the electrical cubes would apply shock state. Oh, that thing looks so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm also starting to see what you mean about Asuka possibly giving Potemkin a hard time because it seems like as long as you know how to properly use each of your spells and you don't use them willy-nilly, you more or less can bully Potemkin with them. Thanks for clearing me out of the corner. The sound of that shield breaking is just aesthetic. Or ASMR, I should say, not aesthetic. Oh, that's an unfortunate special. That was so unfortunate. Are Asuka specials only doing withdraw or reshuffling all his cards and firing that Mega Cube thing? Yeah, those are the only two specials. Hmm. Hey, that achievement got in my way. <laughs> what the heck? Let's do it, man. Hey, he just murdered the shit out of the pot just then. Well, not <laughs> murder, but...
I just did. Ah. There's just no escaping him. Hmm. He's got the sliding head, so it interrupts my charging. Mm-hmm. <sighs> back out of troubleshoot. Okay. No problem. Oh. I need to recover my head on that one. My down is definitely dropping. I don't know. He's if he's beating me for, uh, with for proper movements. I don't know what he's screwing up on. He's screwing up on. If you saw me randomly standing while we were in neutral. Oh. Hmm? Uh, oh, if he if he says he says if I saw him that was the switch in my button not working. Oh. Did you just trip me? Yep, I did. I did the the trip button. You know, down down dust. Oh. So that's what his down dust looks like. And I'm wondering if that's the overhead. Might I think I assumed it was from the angle that it comes from. Wow. Whoa, that's finally comboing. to feel guilty gearish
big damage. Mm Oh my god. The Tohu is real. Like I could uh, figure out when to do the spell. There was so so much in my way. Yeah, no kidding. I think I know what the problem is. When I start to get tired, I start to hug the lever a little too much on our two are down a little too much mm. to the to the point where movement starts to slow. I'm starting to think I, my super is not rever not invincible. Hmm. Maybe it's a timing issue. Yeah, I'm going to have to look that up and if they put up the frame data yet. Mm -hmm. But if it's my inputs, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> Just like you. We have been streaming for a good three hours or so, so far. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, this is the kind of salt that I can stand and that people are more tolerant of as compared to if you get salty in a multiplayer game. Because you notice we tend to blame pretty much, oh, is it the connection? Is it the fight stick? Or is it ourselves? As opposed to a multiplayer game where it's like, well, my teammates had bad picks or they were getting in my way or other shit like that. 
If only because in fighting games, if there are any problems, there are problems we can fix, more or less. Like for me, I just had to take a few minutes to be like, hmm, I'm getting salty. Is my gameplay dropping? Am I just getting fucking tired? Or am I getting sloppy? And as it turns out, it was pretty much all of those things. It's like it's, I looked at my fight stick while you were fighting a Seleucos just now, and it's not the fight stick. I've unfortunately know I've felt what it's like for a fight stick to become defective mid-game, as in the screws are literally going loose, and it's not that. It's also my main problem when they're trying to join these tournaments and stuff. If I start to like get panicked, I can't really recover and recover quickly enough before the opponent is able to take advantage. And I know that's just a matter of like that's just a, that's true of pretty much all tournaments and all competitive games, whether it be video games or sports in general. But it's anxiety-inducing. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if I can kill you with chip damage. Oh, FD. Oh, wait. I jumped it. Yes! Damn it. Oh my god. No perfects for you. Jesus, that match. GG's. GG's. Uh... Now, figure out. Uh, it was okay. It was close. I can't blame anything on myself on that one. Yeah, that was fairly close, honestly. Mm -hmm. You adapted to- you learned Asuka fairly quick, too. Like, I- I felt like I was fighting for my life those last two sets. <laughs> it does take a- it will take a while to get used to knowing, like, Oh, I'm almost out of mana. Why isn't my spell working? Oh dear, yeah. I was trying to get that last spell to activate every now and then. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, it's not working. Oh, right. The mana. The oppression is real. <sighs> well, still, wor still working on his uh, controller. Hmm. I'll mm. stick around a little bit longer if you guys want to do one much one more fight. But I'm honestly kind of spent. I think. It's my yeah, big... I think. I think I'll let you let you let you be. You know, if you wanted to go for, for uh, anyone else, you wanted to look for. Um, or if you wanted to rest up from here. I think I better call the night and get to finishing my Pathfinder character because I got a different I got the Pathfinder collab tomorrow. To well. get to but uh Salu our Tearwolf Salucos, thank you very much for coming to tonight's stream and for playing Strive with us. I'm gonna go are you gonna keep going or streaming for a little bit longer, Tearwolf? I believe so. Uh, I want to make sure to satisfy Silico since he can't run through a shovel coming here. No problem. In that case, I'll go ahead and raid you this evening. 
Um, okay. Once I leave, you wait. This is your server. This is your lobby. What the fuck am I saying? My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Chat. Thank you very much for coming to tonight's strive session. As you can see, Asuka is a very interesting character. Look forward to seeing how people start picking him apart in competitive play. He's. I am assuming he's going to be. Um, he's certainly going to be the character of all time. <laughs> Um, for that one random person that just happens to master his Yu-Gi-Oh playstyle, we're going to go ahead and raid Tear Wolf tonight. Uh, how do I do this? Raid. Uh, I. I said I Tear Wolf. Huh? There we go. And for tonight's radio message, let's go ahead and do this one. Thank you everyone for coming to tonight's stream. I don't know when we'll be streaming next. Tomorrow I'll be doing a Pathfinder collab and I will direct everyone to the Twitch channel that we're going to be hosting that one on. Happy Femboy Friday and have a good night. Oh, wait. Almost forgot. Mm -hmm. As per tradition, we got to fade using this one. Oh, the smell of the game! GG's.